Hi, I'm Zach from Best Reviews, and whether you're heading to a business conference or are finally taking that getaway vacation, traveling is undeniably stressful, but worth it. Frequent flyers often want to avoid hassle of checking luggage and the anxiety that comes with it, but fitting everything into a carry-on suitcase can be its own challenge, especially if you love to overpack like me. Thankfully, packing cubes are here to make the process a little less frustrating. Packing cubes are useful for seasoned travelers, especially those going on long trips, and have a lot to pack into a smaller bag. Having your items neatly packed not only saves you time getting through TSA, it keeps you organized and makes sure you have those easy to access essentials when you're on the go, like your power cord or hand sanitizer. Most packing cubes come in sets ranging anywhere from two to 10 pieces with varying sizes from small, medium, large, and extra large, or multiple of the same size cubes. Carry-ons typically have the space to accommodate four to eight cubes in different sizes, but the amount of cubes you need depends on what you pack. To get the most out of packing cubes, start by laying out all of your clothing accessories, toiletries, and other items to be packed. This provides a visual aid to pare down any unnecessary items. Next, we found it best to divide everything into categories and choose a size cube that best works for you. The small size cubes are typically best for toiletries, and make sure to always keep your liquids in a separate Ziploc to avoid any messes. Even though carry-on luggage doesn't go through the same process as checked luggage, it still gets jumbled around during transit and no one wants any spills. Luggage is usually made of water-resistant, stain-proof nylon material and is a standard feature across most brands, although the quality may vary. To learn more about the options you have for carry-on bags, check out our video on hard side versus soft side luggage. When it comes to packing clothing, there are a few different techniques. For thinner fabrics such as t-shirts, swimwear, pajamas, and athleisure, rolling tends to be the best method for saving space and reducing wrinkles. But for those bulkier items such as jeans, coats, and sweaters and formal wear, opt for folding them into large or extra large compressed cubes and then press on them to release the air as that takes up unnecessary space. Medium cubes accommodate shoes, socks, and other minimal clothing like undergarments and those bathing suits. After you have everything separated, it's time to put the cubes into your carry-on. Along with your shoes, large and extra large cubes should go on the bottom of your suitcase since they take up the most space and hold heavier items. If your cubes have a mesh or clear top, make sure they're facing up. This makes sure it's easier to see the items before you start unpacking. Stack the lighter, medium, and small cubes on top of the larger cubes and you're all set. Any traveler looking for a streamlined system for packing and unpacking will benefit from using packing cubes especially people who are notorious for overpackers, like me. With packing cubes, your belongings will be neat and compartmentalized before, during, and after travel. Once again, I'm Zach from Best Reviews. Comment your thoughts below, give us a like, hit the notification bell, subscribe so you don't miss a single video from us. And if you're still trying to figure out which Karen is best for you, check out our video where we compare all the top brands. Happy travels and have fun out there.